Hey everybody, welcome to the Random Game on Shrinking. If you're new to the channel, one of the things I like to do is take older games that are still sealed, open them up, see what's inside the box, and then check out the actual games. If that sort of thing's interesting to you, and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe now and hit the notification icon so you can be notified next time I post another video like this, which hopefully will be pretty often. The game I have today is called You Don't Know Jack, Volume 4 The Ride, part of the long-standing You Don't Know Jack series, and this is a really wonderful series of games. They're all so much fun. Now we still have the Jackbox Party Pack today. We may have played those. You may have played the earlier ones. But I have a whole bunch of fun checking this out. Whether it's original seal or not, the game is pretty beat up. But who cares? Let's check it out. So here we have You Don't Know Jack, Volume 4, The Ride. And this this looks like a really great game. I mean, I've played other games in the series that are so much fun. They all have this bald guy mascot for some reason. Uh, this one, it says here, has a special collector's edition that comes with You Don't Hear Jack audio CD. I was like, what is that? Is that a game on audio CD? But apparently not. It says here on the back, it's a collection of commercial parodies and music from the Jack series. If you played this, this series, you'll remember there's a lot of really funny commercials and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know why you'd want to have an audio CD, honestly, but I guess it's sort of cool. But uh, a lot of cool stuff here. It looks like uh, 800 questions, one, two, or three players as before. All five hosts from the series return, including Nate from the original. And there's uh, lots of different question types. Jack Bingo and Roadkill, it says. And Flak Jack, which is like screw your opponent, but look more extreme, it looks like. So it uh, looks, looks pretty cool. And it uh, looks like Sierra was the publisher. Jelly Vision is the, uh, the developer. Sierra is the publisher, it says here. Now, um, and for some reason, this game was not, looks like it was not sealed with shrink wrap. Usually with a gatefold cover, you wouldn't want to seal it with shrink wrap because you can't open the gatefold, but there's no gatefold here, but still they sealed this with stickers. Now, I might think that, you know, maybe it was, you know, it, it wasn't really stickers, supposed to be shrink wrap, but it's pretty clear this is the, the way the box is supposed to be because there's a Walmart sticker here. I mean, th that's not conclusive. There's also this $5 off rebate. So it seems like this stuff was stuck directly on the box. Um... And for some reason, they decided to seal it with stickers. And the problem with sealing it with stickers, of course, is that it's very, very easy to open a sticker seal and reseal it. It's almost impossible to really, you know, to tell if it's if it's original or not, unless you actually open it up and check the contents. This box also, as I mentioned before, has to be pretty beat up, but honestly, I don't really care that much. I just want to make sure that the CD inside is pristine and see what else it comes with. So let's check it out. Um, I have here my big Kahuna knife. And uh, let's just try to cut it here with the, uh, the slice of the sticker. It's really, it should be really easy to do. There we go. It's sticker sealed or unsealed. Now I should be able to open it up. I can tell there's a cardboard insert in there because I can feel it. Come on, get it. There we go. Get it open. All right, here's the cardboard insert. So somebody didn't handle this very well at some point uh, during the process, but that's okay. Uh, at some point during shipping or maybe sitting in some guy's basement, who knows. All right, so a little bit smashed up cardboard insert. And uh, inside is, oh, interesting. Okay, so it comes with these with this sticker sheet. I didn't realize it came with that, QBP. So you can put on your on your keyboard because these are the keys used to buzz in. Q is for the player on the left, P is for the player on the right, and B is for the guy in the middle if there's three players. And then it has uh, the two CDs here. It's not sealed, which is disturbing. But let's see what's inside. This one is the installer and the audio CD. Uh, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks completely completely unblemished, if you take a look at it. And uh, the other side, where's the other side? Ha Oops. <laughs> the other side has the, I guess, the questions or something. I'm not sure. But looking at that one, also looks, well, there's a little, actually, there's a little scratch on it. There's some crap on it here. On the, on, I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, at one point, I don't know if you can see it on the on the picture, but there's some stuff on the on the, a little bit of a scratch, and there's a little bit of a, sc a smudge or something. I'll put it on my computer just to make sure I can copy all the data off it. That's what I usually do if it's something like that. It, it's probably just from the factory, but you know I'm not really 100% sure. And then we have the manual here, a pretty straightforward manual. So this is the type of game which normally I would not save it as a big box on my shelf. First of all, because the box is beat up, but aside from that. It just, there's not much in here. Like, I got the jewel case, the game, everything's all in this package. I can put the stickers in there, too. Aside from that, I have a little coupon and a registration card. Save $10 for your next purchase of You Don't Know Jack, and this is a regular Sierra card. 
So what I'll probably do really is just throw out this cardboard insert. It's a little beat up anyway. Flatten the box and put it in my pile of boxes. And then this goes in my jewel case rack. And I'm all set. But I'm curious what you guys think. If anybody's ha anybody else has a copy of this, um, I think it's unopened. Factory seal, but not sure. So if you have any other thoughts, please let me know in the comments section. And now let's check out the game. So this is You Don't Know Jack Volume 4. And it's really weird beginning it starts off with a moral quote-unquote dilemma and you only have a very limited amount of time to pick the answer to Roger sex scene pops up during cartoon you're watching the 12 year old what do you do so obviously I would cover my eye, their eyes and ears and then they call me a fascist <laughs> but if you pick the other one I tried it because I was curious and they tell you like you're a sick pervert and you should be killed so apparently I'm not sure what the point of that is Hello, I guess a couple different dilemmas I see you're into the hear no evil, see no evil philosophy of life. That should serve you very well down on the censorship floor. So, How yeah, so they put on the censorship floor. So supposedly, like, th whatever choices you pick in this you know, particular game at the beginning dictate the, the questions you get. Questions. How many people will be playing? They're insulting me because I'm taking too long to answer. So I pick you're one. I'm only here myself yourself. right That's now. great. Thank you. How many questions would you like to play? And the big funny, of course. And I'll just do seven because I'm just testing the game out. Thirteen. Okay, uh, great. I'd say thirteen. Type your name. <laughs> okay, I think th so. This game, I think there's only there's only thirteen questions, regardless. I read some, some reviews about it. It's a weird Thank you. entry in the Remember series. Remember to be all you can be. Okay. I'm so sorry to say that our time together is finally over. I'm in an elevator descending permanently. So, it's a game show. You'll see how this works very quickly. But, uh... It's time for the show where high culture and It's one of those games, obviously, alive. it's more fun if you have other players. You don't know Jack. But it'll still be fun. It's a fun game. Christian Lyrics Coalition. We'll find a satanic reference in your children's music, <laughs> whether it's there or not. The, the writing of this series has always been very amusing. That's the, that's hey, the great thing doing? about it. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Just a word of warning, I'm not going to censor myself here, so you might want to cover your own eyes and ears, okay? <laughs> They're making fun of me again because they say I'm a censor. All right, it's time to learn the seven naughty words because we're taking on censorship. <laughs> the truth is, like, I almost don't okay, want to talk so during this game because the there's so much, like, feels right. the game is so funny, you much rather off hearing them than hearing me. But I am, I'll talk a little bit, but... Did you lose your fingers in a farming accident? Buzz yeah, I decided not to time. click. Here's your category. <laughs> censorship. More like censor oh, I still censored it. Okay, play ball. If today's censors had the same job duties as the first Roman censors, which of these would they be doing? Torch. It's yours if you want it. I have no idea. 41, 42. How did she do that? Uh, I mean, that's that, that, that's disgusting. Don't look. <laughs> I was actually right. The original censors <laughs> took census, which means they counted things, and they took a break to read the articles. There you go. See, this you got a weird hey, mindset you gotta have here in this value. game. This one's called. So most of those you don't know Jack games, you can actually pick the, the topic. Here you're just picking the you price know, political randomly. Political correctness has gotten way out of hand. There's even a human muscle named the PC muscle. If you're having problems with your PC muscle, what's the best? Go get it. Something to do with the urinary tract, I think. Or oops, one. Urinarily challenged. Wow, looks like you're quite the cunning linguist. There you the PC go. muscle, or the pubococcygeal muscle, controls the flow of urine from the bladder. I'm usually pretty good at this game. When you play with multiple people, the key is to like uh, be able to buzz in fast and read the question fast and answer quickly. I usually do pretty well. But, uh, play a little bit more. Censorship I'll get one wrong soon, I'm sure. Get your buzzer finger ready, here we go. If you tie a blue oh, ribbon no around idea. the old oak tree, what cause are you supporting? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, is. freedom of expression online, or NAMBLA? I'm sure it's on NAMBLA. That's that thing from South Park, right? <laughs> That's how I just don't know. So, like, in the real game, someone will screw me. Maybe they'll screw me themselves, who knows, but... You should have picked this. 
The Blue Ribbon campaign is for free speech. Yeah, I don't know the pink ribbons. I don't know the blue ribbons. You should consider publishing photos of your oak tree on your homepage, because none of the online freaks will ever go outside to see it. <laughs> I'm trying to see if we get one more interesting it's category fun, type here. Because they've done all the questions are straight up questions like this. I'll wash your thesaurus out with soap. You ready? Let's go. Which of these is not a dirty word? Slatternly, a bloated, bedraggled, or squalid? I have no idea. A bloated, a bloated probably means like a clean. A bloated means washed clean. There you go. No, it's not really <laughs> dirty. Unless you say something is f***ing bloated. Ablutions is like cleaning stuff. Okay, hit your buzzer and try. Oh, nice picking. All right, here we go. Oh, different category type. Different question type. This or that. So I don't think it's like different. The category for this this or that is... I see no evil, but I can smell it a mile away. Okay, I'm gonna list off seven people, and for each one, I want you to tell me if they're someone who sees no evil, someone who hears no evil, or someone who neither sees nor hears it's like evil. Deaf or dumb, deaf or, bl or, de or blind people? As each one comes up, if it's someone who just sees no evil, you press guessing? one. If it's someone who just hears no evil, press two. If it's both, press three. Okay. If you're not sure, press four. You're gonna get some money for each right answer, and you're gonna lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you have 30 seconds to get all of them. And keep it on the or when it fills up, you're done. We'll see. Let's do it. Stevie Wonder! Marley Matlin! No idea. Helen Keller! Oh, she's a good Oedipus. Who's Tommy? Oh. Oh, he's deaf. That's right. Oh, damn. Time's oh, well. up. <laughs> now then, I gotta deduct some cash for the one you never answer. Well, that's not I did okay. Loss. Not Let's great, but... To your score. <laughs> Helen Keller was blind, too. Ah, whatever. Right, See, the bottom line of this game is you have to be really smart and know a lot of stuff, and you also have to be very fast, and you also have to like jokes and know what's going on. So, anyway, that's... I, I mean, Couple more questions, but Tipper Gore. I'm, I'm probably that's that's enough for me for now to try it out. But uh, this is a fun game. I mean, like this is these games are all lots of fun, and they're still going on to this day. Fifty dollar dinner. What is the smallest amount she should leave as a tip? Five dollars. Good tipper. I don't know. So that's very uh, subjective. Hey mom, can I have some money for lunch? Probably ten bucks. That's really subjective, what though. Have here? The correct answer. 750. Yeah, it's very subjective. Probably depends where you live, too. But anyway, the bottom line is, this is a fun game. Um, it's it's fun. I could probably play this myself and have a good time. But it's even more fun if you're playing it with somebody else or with a couple other people. And there's a lot of options to like mess the other player up. So I'm sort of done for now. I can play more later. But uh, I'm going to show you guys the game. I probably well, could you know, keep going sharing. all day long, but uh, there could be eight thousand dollars here. I understand moral. I don't know what turpitude is. <laughs> no turpentine is. But anyway, the point is, it's a really fun well, game really again, nice and uh, I just definitely encourage you guys to check out the series if you haven't checked it out before. And uh, if you have checked it out, check out other games in the series and check out the new stuff like the like the Jackbox packs and stuff like that. And if you haven't checked out other videos of this channel, please check out the other videos of this channel as well. And please hit like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And please leave comments. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the game. I wasn't paying attention to the questions. I don't know what they're saying. But, uh... I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. And we'll do this again soon. And, uh, peace out, everybody.